Hey everyone, my name is Joe Scar, and today we're going to take a look at Fast Cutter. Fast Cutter is a tool for 3ds Max that allows you to cut meshes in a very artistic fashion. It's been used in film production and independent projects since 2007, and we're very pleased to announce it will soon be made available publicly. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how it works. I've got some test objects here, a geosphere and a box. Go ahead and launch Fast Cutter. We can see it starts in a very small compact UI. Fast Cutter actually has quite a few options. We can click on More to see more of them, and More again to see even more, or we can hide those with the Less button to hide those. What we'll do first is we're going to go ahead and just select this geosphere, click on Start, and draw a spline through here. And actually, we'll delete that. The way this works is you click on Start, you double click, and you draw your spline, and you double click again. And what it does is it creates a normalized spline and adds extrusions, so you get this kind of subdivided plane. And this is going to be your cutting object. Once we click Cut It, it's going to go ahead and automatically cut those. We can move this out here, and we can see those subdivisions right in there. We can go ahead and say Undo that last set of cuts. Come back in. Do it again. This time we'll just kind of draw straight through. Now what we're going to do is take a look at the two levels of noise that we have. We've got fractal noise, or just noise, it can be fractal or not, and then, or we can turn on noise too for kind of an extra little bit of distortion as well. And with both of those parameters you can control the strength and the scale of the noise, make it a large uh, noise field if you like. We'll go ahead and say cut that. So now we can see that noise occurring in the object. Okay, that's all great. Um, let's go ahead and check those results. Undo. Yeah. Okay, something else Fast Cutter can do is sometimes called rift cutting. Um, we're going to call it shelling the displace or shell displace. And what this does is it adds a little bit of thickness to our cutting plane. And so we can actually expand this beyond. Um, you, you will see that it does have a certain limit that can be used for objects at a certain scale. But once we go ahead and cut this, we get a nice middle section in between the two. Okay, now we'll go ahead and keep these, these cut results, but we want to put them back to where uh, they were originally. If we go click on the More option, come down to Restore Original Transforms, pop, it'll put them back into place. Okay, the next thing we want to do is take a look at the Noise Update functions. So if we go ahead and draw cutting plane through this object. Double click again there. Uh, let's turn off our shell and let's go ahead and say cut it. So we get this nice series of cuts. What we want to do is take a look. When we're cutting multiple objects, we have some controls for controlling if the noise updates per piece as it cuts. So right now, the N update functions are both turned off for both noise levels. So if we go ahead and hit start and just kind of cut straight through almost, let's just go ahead and turn off the noise. Oh, no, no, let's turn it on. Okay, so we hit cut it. And you'll see that we get this nice continuous line through here. Okay, now let's undo that. Now let's select those objects again. Draw our cutter. This time we're going to turn on the noise update for both noise levels. And you can see now it adds these very nice kind of um, offsets to that cut using a different uh, noise seed per cut object. Anyway, these are just some of the options that are available in Fast Cutter. Uh, we'll be talking about them more in the coming weeks. And stay tuned for more announcements.